Hello there, Chiara. All right, let's have a look. So punctuation, we need a comma here. Yeah? Dear Mr. Pierman, I'm writing regarding the recent complaint of Mr. No about the TV program, how things are done. That was on air for the first time last Saturday at 5 p.m. I'd like to address the fact, we don't need to, that I believe the reporter, Mr. Noah, fairly criticized the program by a mediocre way of showing th how things are built. Okay, so Mr. No unfairly criticized the program by using the phrase, or when he said a mediocre way of showing how things are built. I'd like to explain that we watched the show with my family. Okay, so here we're creating strain because I don't know who we is. So we could say slightly more eloquent way, which would be, I'd like to explain that my family and I watched the show and my eight-year-old daughter found it incredibly interesting and loved the graphic explanation of musical instruments. Very good vocabulary. She has been recently studying music in her school and these helped her with the understanding of the subject. Good. These descriptions, these explanations, okay, just to reduce ambiguity. After feeling that the program was not given a fair review by Mr. Nard, kindly request if you could retrieve the former one. Former review, I guess. Once again, ambiguity. Let's make it crystal clear. We'd love, we would love to see the show. We would love the we would love to see show. Yeah, we would love to see the show on air again and good vocabulary on air. It would be a misfortune if that did not happen. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Kind regards, comma, Chiara. Right. Da, 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 da. Write to a newspaper. Maybe your point of view. Yeah. What you like about the show and why. Good. Excellent. Take some action. So we've addressed all those points. That's fantastic. Also, it's very well written. And we've got some good vocabulary. But we do need to be a little bit more descriptive, a little bit more um, sort of avoiding this ambiguity, okay? Uh, so check your writing the next time uh, you write a letter and check it for small errors like this. And especially you want to review general task one, letter writing punctuation, okay? Let's go. Experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated whether it is mandatory to teach students computer education as part of the school curricula or if they will need or so look grammar mistake here whether it is mandatory to teach students computer skills teach computer education as part of the curricula or if they will gain these skills as part of their daily interaction with technology. Okay, that was the problem there. We're just missing a verb. Personally, I agree with the former statement. In this essay, I'll discuss both sides using examples from the UK government and Cambridge University to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Fine. On the one side, there is ample evidence, good, that children can learn more naturally how to use technology by interacting daily with computer-based toys, books, and even board games. Now, cohesion and coherence is a slight, well, a small tip for a slight improvement. So in your argument, first, we've man first we mentioned mandatory argument, okay? So put that first as you're in your body paragraph, yeah? Okay, and then gaining the skills of daily interaction, which seems to be this one, okay, that this paragraph then should be second, yeah? The, re the main reason behind this is that nowadays, in developed countries, six out of ten children are exposed to technology at least three times a week. Beautiful, beautiful, strong argument, eloquently expressed. Well done there, Chiara. Very impressed. For example, recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated that nearly 80% of UK children between the age of 10 and 13, preposition, 
owns a mobile phone or a computer-based mm, owns a mobile phone parallelism here. So we've got a gadget here, an object. So let's put a, another gadget here, yeah? Or a desktop computer, yeah? Consistent with this line of thinking is that children learnt while they played without realizing it. Super. Thus, it is possible to state that young learners can discover how things work more naturally by their daily interaction. Genius, Kiara. I'm very impressed. Crystal clear, straight to the point, using the C2 template. Wonderful. We also need to be aware of just the prepositions, but strong body paragraph. But remember what I said about the order of the arguments, yeah? On the other hand, although children are exposed to daily use of technology, the added value of school learning cannot be overstated. This is largely because the complementary education they will receive at school will add to the knowledge they have already acquired and develop the necessary skills for the future. Good. For example, an extensive study by Cambridge University showed that computer-based jobs such as IT, mm, that's too vague, such as programming, developing, or graphic design will require an extensive knowledge of computer technology for the demands of the future. Yeah, because there's no job called IT. We have to be more specific. Moreover, it will be critical for the success of the school in, oh, sorry, of the children in tomorrow's technology-driven world. Therefore, it is conclusively clear, good, that complementing children's learning at school is necessary for future jobs, comma, career, and technological development. So we just had a little list there that makes it irrefutable and it's an extra opportunity to improve and to add some topic specific vocabulary that's going to help you score points and pass this exam. To conclude from the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that children not only should be encouraged to learn naturally with the technologies they have available, but also it is important for schools to teach them the necessary skills they need for future jobs. Good work there, Chiara. Very impressed. So you know the deal. Implement all the corrections you've heard. Send me back the corrected work. Send me your error list as well. And, um, yeah, and then write me two new essays. Remember to check those essays for mistakes you made in previous work. Okay? So you're doing well, let's keep on improving. Also let me know when your next exam is, please. Okay, take care.